Hey guys, uh, Calamity here with another video. I can't believe it either. And today I just wanted to make a short video explaining why Kazuha is a S tier or a really, really good unit. So obviously his banner is going on right now. And you might just hear people just say, Kazuha is really good. Kazuha is amazing. Just pull for him, pull for him, pull for him. But maybe you don't understand why he's so good. Uh, he's good for two, well, the two main things in Genshin, right? He's really good in combat and he's really good for exploration. So we're going to talk about why he's good at combat first. So if you go to his talent section, he has a uh, talent here called Poetics of Fubutsu. Now he will grant you additional elemental damage per point of elemental mastery he has when he swirls. So on average, we'll just look at my Kazuha for an example here. I don't even have a 5-star weapon. I have the Iron Sting, which is a weapon you can craft um, for free. And if we look at his attributes... Oh, it says it right there. I didn't even have to go here. He has about 943 uh, Elemental Mastery. Now, the talent says it increases elemental damage by 0.04%. We're just going to do some fair rounding here, and we'll just say this is about 40% elemental damage when he swirls. So, he's swirling all the time, right? Because he's an ammo, and his skill and both his burst will constantly be swirling um, your enemies as long as there is an appropriate element to swirl with. So that includes Pyro, Hydro, Cryo, and Electro. Shit, sorry, I can't think of the, <laughs> the fourth one. Anyways, uh, so yeah, as long as you have one of those elements as like a main DPS, they are going to get straight up a 40%-ish elemental damage. We'll just say like it's 35 or 30 to 40% elemental damage, which is still a lot. That's great. However, it doesn't end there because his artifact set, right? You're going to use the Very Distant Veneer set. Uh, on Kazuha and if you look at the four piece effect that this provides whenever you swirl which again all the time because he's animo and that his kit is just nothing but swirling your enemies um it's going to decrease the elemental resistance of your enemies with the uh by the element that is getting uh swirled so if you swirl it with fire your enemies are going to have minus 40% fire resistance, which again, you could just think of it as 40% pyro damage bonus or 40% hydro damage bonus, etc. Um, you cannot swirl with just animo, by the way. So if you're trying to use someone like Zhao or Heizo as your main DPS, then you run into the trouble of... Um, not being able to swirl. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Or Geo is the other element. I don't know about Denjo yet. Uh, at the time of making this video, Sumeru is not out yet. And Denjo characters are not available. So I haven't tried it. <clears throat> so yeah, you're getting about, again, let's roughly estimate, a 70 to 80% bonus damage to... As long as you get the right element swirled, right? 80% damage bonus to your main DPS. That is huge. And that is already, already right there why he's such a great um, support character. Now, a lot of people also like to pair him up with Bennett. Because when you use Bennett's ult, that little field will automatically uh, apply pyro to your enemies. So that's an easy pyro swirl. And not to mention, of course, Bennett usually has the Noblesse Oblige uh, artifact set equipped. Which is another 20% bonus. And then, of course, standing in his field gives you flat attack increase which is huge so bennett <laughs> plus kazuha is literally the biggest damage boost you can give to any character again as long as they're pyro cryo cryo hydro or electro then they're gonna get a huge damage boost increase um, he's also very versatile he can be in a lot of teams and that is why kazuha is a huge demand or at least a huge recommendation for a character you should pull for uh, if you really want a huge powerhouse added to your team he's really good and uh and this is this is just combat alone right uh we're gonna talk about now why he's great for just exploring in general so we're gonna go back to his talents once again 
So Kazuha has a passive talent here called Cloud Strider, which decreases your sprinting stamina consumption for your own party members by 20%. Um, this, does, this means it'll also apply to anyone else in your party. It doesn't have to be Kazuha on the field. Just as long as Kazuha is in your party, you'll get minus 20% stamina consumption. So more running time. Uh, this doesn't stack, so if you pulled Heizo, um, you can't get minus 40% stamina consumption. However, this does stack with, if you go to the Elemental Resonance section, and if you look at the Anima one, decreases your stamina consumption by 15%. So you will actually have, if you have another Animo, uh, I recommend Sayu or Jean if you have her as a healer for your party. Um, and Sayu has the ability to just roll around, by the way, making it even easier to save stamina since her rolling doesn't consume it and it's faster than running. Anyways, <clears throat> so you will have 35% reduced stamina consumption and your movement speed is going to increase by 10% and your, sh and your skill cooldowns will all decrease by 5%. That is insane for just exploring. You're going to be zooming around all the time and you're going to be able to just run for longer periods of time. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, running out of stamina. All right, here's the second reason that Kazuha is a good unit for ex exploration. You can use his skill in the air. So you can do it anytime you're in the air and you just tap E and you will just get a free jump. Now you're like, okay, so what? how's that good? Uh, Well, it's good for a lot of reasons, actually. You can use... We're going to use an example here. You can use that while gliding, and you can also do it to do the infinite Kazuha climb. It's kind of hard to showcase like a good example, but we'll try here. So you can use, while you're gliding, you can c constantly use um, his E, and it's going to keep giving you a boost. So even if you misjudge uh, a long glide and you don't make it, Kazuha can definitely ensure that you do. So we're not going to make that wall. But because of his gliding, or his, uh, because of his skill, we can easily make it to this side. And then while climbing, you can also just give yourself a quick boost. It's faster than Venti's, right? You don't have to charge it. And you can also do it while climbing. So you can just let, when you're climbing like this, you can just let go. Tap E, and you'll get a boost. Probably wasn't the best showcase there, but... Anyways, now we're up here. I'm sure you guys can find more better practical uses for the um, for his uh, tap E while you're gliding. I'm sure it's going to be a, a very useful for a lot of people. Uh, you can also use this while collecting animo or uh, just crystal core butterflies. It will not despawn them. Um, and if you pair again, a good reason to pair him with Sayu is because Sayu has a passive where she doesn't make the crystal flies scared of you at least when you pick the first one up um they won't run away so you can definitely position yourself to grab multiple before they start flying um but yeah that's pretty much it on why kazuha is a great uh unit to pull for he's great for both combat providing a huge damage boost he's great for exploration just simply because of the animo um Animo Resonance plus being able to reduce your stamina consumption by 20%. I'm not even using Animo Resonance and I still think he's already a good. Um, I just have this party set up because of the event. I was just trying to be lore friendly or event friendly with my party. Um, but yeah, you can use this for climbing. You can use this for gliding. It's just a free air boost. Uh, I'm sure in a game like this, y'all can think of a million and one uses on why this is helpful. Uh, hopefully this video was short and informational enough for y'all to quickly understand why Kazo is such a good unit. I mean, there's a lot more reasons to pull for him than just what I listed here, but those are like the quick main reasons that might appeal for um, newer players on why you should pull for him. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.